Joel Benison is here. He's a Democratic pollster and the chief strategist for Hillary Clinton's campaign. Joel, it's great to see you. What you might have noticed there or missing from that was any mention by name of Hillary Clinton, but anyone who's been following this race, it's very clear that's one of the things that Bernie Sanders has been hitting her on. He's not going negative, but he's kind of going negative here. Is oh, I, I think I think he's going negative. <laughs> I think I think in fact I think he's probably running the most negative campaign of any Democratic uh, presidential you think so? candidate. I, I think so in a presidential primary season. Yes, I think he's been more personal in his attacks. I think he's been increasing it on the stump recently, uh, and I, I do. I can't think of one. You know, even in a very hard-fought campaign in 2008. Uh, I don't think uh, we had the range of negativity on either side, and I was on Obama's side then, uh, that we've had now. People's, you know, feelings always get riled up, and everybody thinks the other side's doing it. But, Joel, think this back to is, all the debates, so, Joel. Is, he helped her out on the email thing. He says, I don't care about Bill, the Bill Clinton's past. He's running fundamental attacks, and he's going out on the stump every day, raising issues about her personally, her character, and other Democrats as well. Democrats, by the way, who enacted the toughest rules on Wall Street and the banking system in seven decades. And he's running a campaign where he kind of, at this point, and I think he's feeling the burn a little bit, it seems to me, as he's getting more scrutiny. In the last three weeks, he's been attacking and dismissing everybody who seems to not be aligned with him, including people like uh, 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 Planned Parenthood and people who have been fighting for women's health to the human rights campaign, people who have been fighting for LGBT equality in America for decades. And it seems once you're not with him, you become a focal point of his attacks. And I do think it's been extremely negative, and I think it's unfortunate. Let me ask you about this.